I spend a lot of time writing prayer and working with people on writing their own prayers. And um, it happened probably over a decade ago that, um, that a man came to me and he said, Rabbi, can you please say a prayer for me? And of course I'm honored anytime somebody wants me to bless them or say a prayer for them. But I was also concerned, and I was concerned because I felt, I suddenly started to realize how often it is that Jews ask rabbis to pray for them and worry that maybe they feel they don't have access to God because either they're not observant enough or they don't know Hebrew or that somehow they don't know the right prayer. And if only they knew the right prayer, you know, it would get through. So I looked at this man and I said, of course, I'm happy to pray with you and pray for you. But also I want to ask you a question. What is it that you want me to say to God? And what happened was the most eloquent, powerful, articulate, precious prayer came out of the lips of the very person who'd asked me to pray for him. And um, ever since then, whenever I visit anyone in the hospital, whenever I work with anybody, um, I work with them not, not to ignore our traditional prayers, but to find the companion piece, which is to find our own words in prayer that come from the heart. Not only the ones that come from our tradition, but to find our way to speak to God, because I, I know that each one of us has a very specific yearning, a very specific question. For some of us, it's an anger. For some of us, it's a why. For some of us, it's a gratitude. It's a thank you. But whatever it is, it's, it's very specific and personal. And I love working with people to help them find their own path into prayer, their own way to pray, their own words of prayer. Join us for a week of learning.